guys, it's Liana, and today I'm going to be doing my Jan January, July wrap up. I think Coolsville sucks. <laughs> The first couple of days in the month, I was still reading ebooks because, like, I was still in like my ebook mood and I couldn't read physically. But luckily, the reading rush actually got me out of my like not reading physical book slump. So I'm really appreciative of that because I did not realize how much I like miss reading physically. But also, reading ebooks helped me read physically a lot faster if that even makes sense a lot of these books i wasn't even sure i was gonna finish in one day i actually ended up finishing one day but that's besides the point let's just get on to it oh actually before i just want to say that if i don't remember what most of these books are about i do want to apologize for that just because like, i've done a lot of reading this month it literally feels like a fever dream i've read 17 books this month so anyways let's just get into it before i'm here talking until like freaking dawn you know so the first book I read was With the Fire on High and I gave that three stars. I read this book because I read her other book, Poet X, and I gave it five out of five stars and I absolutely loved it. But I think, oh, let me explain what With the Fire on High is. With the Fire on High is about this girl named Amani and she got pregnant her freshman year. So the book takes place in her senior year and it's just her like loving, like, you know, like she also loves to cook so it's her like loving cooking and like her taking care of her child and like trying to deal with her senior year and like falling in love and you know all that good stuff and i really enjoyed it but my thing was nothing happened in this book there was no plot whatsoever and with the poet x there wasn't really a plot either but i think i just related to the character a lot more and it also had like the poetry aspects of it you know it had other aspects to keep me interested whereas I mean this book did have like really nice recipes and stuff like that but honestly I did not care about the book like I don't know I just I didn't care about the book as much as I cared about the poet X and like for that I felt really bad I still enjoyed it but there wasn't a plot for me to work with the next book I read was the dragon's gift and this was about this girl who there's two dragons i was reading i forgot what it was called i think it was called like reverse it was this it was like this type of genre called like reverse harem and like there were like a couple of days where i was just like really into that genre we're not into it but i was like really just trying to find some good books in that genre but the books in that genre weren't that good which is like expected because i never heard about it before but i do want to give it like another try because i don't know it's just like the guys were actually dragons like they could turn into dragons and i was just like uh like that's literally the plot of the book so it's about this girl and like she lives in like this town and they have to go like this this thing for something to get picked and like she's like sent off to get married and they're and like her the guy that she's supposed to get married with is like oh you won't get picked anyways like you're like an average looking girl and she's like okay whatever but i still have to go like it's like law she goes and she meet these there's either two or three guys that are like dragons and they can turn into humans and it's very smutty and it was i just like the covers okay then i read another book called cursed by night this one was oh sorry i i gave dragons gift two stars and then cursed by night i gave three stars and this book was about this girl and she is a officer and she sent out to like go look at like this disturbance or whatever and she ends up finding these guys and she realized like it's at her aunt's house and she realizes that the statues at her aunt's house like aren't there anymore and then like there's also like vampires in this and um they've been getting like a lot of like you know weird like disturbances or whatever and the statues can turn into humans there's four of them and they all like fall in love and she has to deal with like the vampires and stuff like i found this really interesting i gave it like three stars like it was interesting but it wasn't like ooh. like i'm actually gonna recommend this to people because i don't want people to read this and they look at me and they're like well i don't what are you reading and i'm like i also read um this this is a story called frostbound throne song of night court of sin it, it's a really long title okay and this one is like fairy it's like the cruel prince but with more dirty talk and smut literally that's exactly what it is it's about this this guy who's like a fairy prince and there's a girl and she's like a regular human and she's like she's supposed to like work for him or whatever and then it's like hate to love and it's like a lot of banter and it's, it was actually pretty good i gave it three stars 
but yeah it's pretty good then i read the warlord once forever and i don't even remember what this is about I, like it was so bad i it wasn't bad but i was just so uninterested i ended up giving it like two stars i just i did not care about it to be honest i don't remember what it's about so i'm so sorry but yeah it's like the start of the series and i just didn't like it but well, i hope you guys aren't mad at me for not remembering what it's about but i've read so many good books this month then my brain is kind of just like push all the books that sucked out I also read The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, which I gave four stars to. Um, and this book is about this girl who works for this hockey player. And she just... Hockey? He's a football player. Don't know where I got hockey from. He's a football player. And she's just realizing that she just doesn't want to work there anymore. It's not that it's like bad or anything. It's just like he doesn't really pay her any mind. And she just decides that she just was wasting her time. So she wants to move on. And so when she quits, he's like not paying her any attention or whatever. And then like she leaves and he like offers to like fake marry her so she goes with it and like, they're like fake married and i really liked it i just felt like it was like enemies to friends to lovers and i realized that i like enemies to straight lovers like i like i don't know you cannot win for losing with me because i don't like when it's like enemies insta love like i don't like that but i also don't like i just like slow burn basically i like slow burn with like really good like hate banter like banter i love banter but like a lot of like when the banter is like fueled up by like hate i really love that and like they had a lot of good like hate banter and then when they became friends like they had banter but it wasn't it just wasn't as good but i mean i really liked the book i just didn't like it as much as i thought i would okay now we're getting into like the books i actually freaking like the physical books i read so next i read voices the final joan of art and there was this video oh there was like me talking about all the books i haven't read on my shelf and i remember picking up this book and like looking through it and realizing it was really really short and literally the next thing you know i picked this book up i really need this book like melanie gave me the art for this book but i actually decided i want the like the hard physical copy because i gave this book four out of five stars like i really really enjoyed it i don't even know who the freaking joan of arc is but i'm telling you guys this book is so cool like it just has so much like poetry and it's just like like this is like a needle like this is like not a needle yeah this is like the end of a needle um there's like a page where there's a sword a sword yeah a sword and it's like two pages long and like you have to like read the other stuff oh here it is and like you have to read all this stuff with it and it's just really really cool and the story is so interesting like you get perspectives from like her parents you get perspectives from like the plants you get like perspectives from like the fire like you literally get the plants i meant the trees like you get perspectives of joan of arc like through other aspect and other characters and i just think that it's really it was just so good i don't even know who the freak joan of arc is but i just look four out of five stars like i really enjoyed it finally read prisoner of azkaban because if you guys didn't know i have been reading harry potter since august of last year and i've been really really slow reading it i really really liked prisoner of azkaban obviously like like when i read harry potter i was like okay this is good and then i skipped chamber of secrets because i think it's so boring i'm so sorry it's like i don't know um i have watched all the movies so prisoner of azkaban goblet of fire and the half blood prince are like my favorite harry potter movies out of all of them but i just want to read them because i want to get more of like cedric degree and i also really do just enjoy harry potter and this one just took like such like a twist and turn and you got to read more of the marauders which i love them like and i'm just so happy that we got to read more of them in this book I don't know i really i just really enjoyed this book of course so the next book i read is the woman in the window and i literally just picked this book off of a win i actually really enjoyed this book i gave it four out of five stars this book is about a girl who a girl this book is about a woman who literally just cannot leave her house like she has like a phobia of like leaving her house and so she witnesses something across the street and it's like she witnesses like this lady getting stabbed across the street and she's always like looking like you know she just know like she can't leave her house so she just knows everything about like the people around her and stuff and i just found it really really interesting the first half of this book was pretty boring and i felt like they, it did have a lot of interest like it did have interesting information but i felt like it could have went without like 100 pages but i do understand why the author did that and 
literally the plot twist at the end was like so good to me i know my sister read it and she didn't really care for it but it hit me with two plot twists and i was not expecting that like, i was only really expecting one and it's just like i don't know it was such a good thriller because i felt thrilled when i was done reading it and i just solely just enjoyed this book next i read wicked saints and i actually really really enjoyed the story i only gave it four out of five stars because i did feel like it could have been better because if you don't know what this book is about like where have you been like this book is like the talk of book two okay yeah i just got a call and now i'm like really annoyed and like i don't want to film this video annoyed but i also don't want to not film this video because like i might not be in the mood to film it later so sorry if my like energy is like really off the rest of this video but if you don't know what this book is about like where have you been it's the talk of like booktube and book twitter like it i won't say like it lived up to the hype completely but it does live up to the hype like i do think it could have been a lot better but it is the author's first book so i'm not gonna like you know pick on her or anything i really do like the characters i it has like a mythology like aspect to it because she has to like communicate with the gods and like her magic does with like um a lot of like blood so i will like say there's a trigger warning for that because they have to draw from blood for like their magic and i really like the main character and there's a girl named the, the book i will suggest to read this book on audiobook just because this does like their names are really really hard to pronounce and if it wasn't for the audiobook i probably would not have like picked up this book because the first time i read it i had the audio the, i had the like I had an arc of it but it was just so hard to get into because I didn't know how anything was pronounced and yeah she had like a pronunciation guide but it's like their names are like super super long so luckily I like you know I listened to the audiobook on Libby and it helped me out so much because I was not about to sit here and struggle through trying to figure out what their names were and there's a prince in this book and I just think that he is just like the cutest and he has to wear like an eye patch he's like a scar over his eye and I just love him there's also like a monster in this book who reminds me of the darkling but surprisingly I didn't really care about him and the main character is actually a really good main character I just, yeah I really like this book um I can't wait to reread it so I can tab it up because um despite like the bad reviews of it I personally I really did enjoy it and now we're getting into the reading rush territory so the first book that I read for the reading rush was actually Saga and this book is about this couple these two people and they're supposed to be like any means like you know it's like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing except like he's like an alien and um well they're both like aliens they're both from like two different like you know planets and they end up having a baby and it's just about these bounty hunters like after them and it's really really good it is really really graphic though like not even just with deaths but like sexually graphic like there's this one page i was like la 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 reading it turn the page i'm like oh well okay and i personally i don't rate graphic novels anymore just because i feel like i'm very unfair because if i like the art in a graphic novel then i'm going to steer towards a graphic novel but if i don't like the art then i'm not gonna read it and i don't like you know like i feel like all, all like artists do deserve like you know their respect and i'm not gonna rate a book three stars just because i don't want to read it because i don't like the art you know then the next book i read was to all the boys i loved before oh also saga was like to read a book in one sitting to all the boys i loved before was to read a book with what was it it was to read a book and then watch the movie so i read this book i really like entertaining stuff literally it took me like three hours to read this book not even it took me two and a half hours to read this book because i read this book so much and i watched the movie so much that like i could read this book in my sleep if i wanted to this book i read was a war rising and if you don't know what this book is about like literally where have you been because this is also a really hyped book on booktube and i gave this book three out of five stars because i just felt like it was very boring like nothing really happened in this book to me i did like the little file aspects of it and there were I, like i really liked finian like he was one of my favorite characters i really liked zilia i like scarlet i really liked like the whole like squad like it's basically just like about these kids and i like on this like you know this team for space and they end up finding this girl named aurora who like you know is also the school is named after and i thought like this book could have been explained a lot better but i'm literally the worst explaining stuff but i just wasn't really feeling this book so i just gave it three out of five stars and i mean i'll still read the next one next i read daughter of the pirate king and i read this book for 
I believe it was five or more. One, two. I think it was, I think this was for the one with uh, five or more letters in it. And I gave four out of five stars. I really, really liked it, but I didn't like it that much. This book is basically about this girl and she's like the princess of like this really like famous, um, not a princess she's like the daughter of this really famous pirate and so these guys kidnap her and it turns out she was actually supposed to be kidnapped anyways so she could like find like this missing map for her father and i really like this book like it had a good like enemies to lovers but then it just starts like i just got pretty bored and it got like really predictable and it ended up being like very insta lovey and so i was like mm, nah but I, I still really enjoyed it despite the insta love but I just feel like without it, it would have been really, really better, you know, because it was good. It was good enemies to lovers. Like, it was really good enemies to lovers. But it got ruined because it fell in love super, super fast. And the ending was pretty good also, but I don't know. I want to pick up the second book, but I don't really know if I care to also. So the next book that I read for the reading rush was An Enchantment of Ravens. And this book was a author's first. Yes, this was an author's first. And I really, really like this book. I gave it four out of five stars. I listened to the audiobook actually, and this is like my second time reading this book. The first time I read this book, I fell asleep and I ended up giving it two stars because I was so bored that I fell asleep. But um, I gave it another chance and I reread it and now I gave it four out of five stars. I really, really liked it. I love like the author's writing and I just love like her characters but I felt like it had insta love and that kind of ruined the story for me but despite the insta love I still liked it like they had like banter still after they did it like like I kind of like that like I like insta love not insta love no I like hate to love but I like when couples like get together and they still have banter afterwards and they're not just like oh lovey dovey and like you know like I like when couples like they still have banter you know it shows that I don't know I just I just like it and this book still had it i just wish that it just didn't have the insta love because literally like 60 pages in they were already like falling in love with each other oh i'm sorry i forgot to explain what this book was about this book is about this girl who's an artist and she paints for like the fairies and this fairy prince comes to her and he asks her to paint her and she paints sorrow in his eyes so it shows that he has human emotions so he spirits her away to the um the fairy world and he's gonna like put her on trial but like on their journey they end up like falling in love and like a love ensues and it's just like so cute and he can also turn into a raven which i think is so cute like there's this one part where she's like you know they're at his like kingdom and they're like she's like in her like bed or whatever and he's like laying there with her and another person walks in and he like turns into a bird and she's like holding him and then she's like cooing him and she's like stroking the, his ego. She's like, oh, who's a good bird? Like he's a good bird. And there's also another scene that I really like where um, the character that walks in before, like it's like a really young character and she's like playing with the main character, Isabel. And she turns Isabel into a rabbit. And like the prince, his name is Rook. And he just like, he's like really overprotective of her. And um, he like turns her back into a human and he's like holding her and stuff and like she he like sees her naked and I'm like oh <laughs> you know and i don't know like this book has really good like points in it that i really enjoyed but the fact that it was insta lovey just had me like uh you know and i just, i really like the ending too i really really like the ending and for the next book i read was sorcery of thorns and this book was for a book with a non-human main character and if you don't know what this book is about you must really live under a rock okay but this book is about this character named Elizabeth. She lives in like a library and in this library, they have grimoires and these grimoires, they're like really important and they're like demons or whatever. So they have to like protect the demons. And this one character dies and like they blame it on Elizabeth. And so she like gets sent away. And there's this character named Nathaniel Thorne, which is like, the love of my life. He's a bisexual character, literally the best. And he has a demon friend named Silas, which is, like you know the non-human main character you know and i just love them all so much and she has a sword named the demon slayer and like the sword is like an inanimate object like it doesn't talk it doesn't move it doesn't do anything but it's literally my favorite character throughout the whole book like i freaking love demon slayer like chef kiss okay um 
I really, really love this book. I love the banter. I love Elizabeth. Like, she is a baddie. I love Nathaniel. I love Silas. I love everything about this book. And I love a lot of people. I don't won't say a lot of people didn't like the ending, but a lot of people didn't really care for the ending. I personally love the ending. Um, I remember in my vlogs, I was saying how Margaret Rogerson might be my favorite author, but I ended up giving this book four out of five stars and not five. Um, I do want to reread it soon, though. I'm waiting on Libby to hurry up and let me um i have to wait six weeks on libby for me to get the audiobook so i'm waiting on libby to give it to me so i can reread it but yeah um i know a lot of people didn't really care about the ending but i liked it i like open ending endings and a lot of people are like hoping that she has a sequel but i really don't think so i believe that margaret rogerson is just going to be like the queen of like standalones which i don't mind like i would love her to be the author who just takes like typical tropes and books that we have and they just she just makes them like a standalone because i don't know she's really good at that and i can't wait to read her next book because she did like a three like one of those like three emojis that explains like your the book you're currently writing and it just sounds so good and also i just want to say that this book literally reminds me of the library at hogwarts mixed with how's moving castle and i don't know it was really good it's really really good so margaret Rogerson may not be my favorite author but she really is like an auto by author like her next book i'm definitely gonna read also because all of her book covers well not all of them but the past two book covers like match and she got charlie ballwater do it and if i don't talk about charlie ballwater in a video who am i okay so the very last book that i read for not only the month but the reading rush was small spaces and this book was for the book you meant to read last year because when i first joined booktube a lot of people were like so i remember this book not a lot of people but this book i was watching a booktuber i'm pretty sure i think it was diary and smiles or it could have been elias i was watching one of them too and somebody talked about this book and i was like okay this sounds really interesting but then another one of my favorite booktubers like gave it a bad review so i just never picked it up but then i watched melanie from mail to the annie and she talked about the second book dead voices and how it like takes place in a ski lodge and how it's just like boy meets world and like that's my favorite episode of boy meets world and i like anything that has to do with ski lodges like that's why i love to all the boys i loved before because they go to a ski lodge and like being trapped in a ski lodge like come on now that sounds amazing and so of course i have to read this book because it's not like one of those books where you can pick up one not the other like it follows the same characters so i picked up this book and y'all i gave it five out of five stars like i thoroughly enjoyed this story it gave me Coraline mixed with Goosebumps mixed with dang it what else was I saying I don't remember what I said it gave me Goosebumps mixed with Coraline mixed with like something else but I really really loved it especially because this is a middle grade book and I don't I won't say I don't like middle grade books I just don't typically lean towards them like I don't really care about them but I think it's because the middle grade books I read were just like not like that good like this book was really really good it kept me intrigued it was really really short i finished this book this book was 215 pages but the words are like really really big on the pages so it took me literally like two hours to finish this book two hours and maybe 30 minutes and i just really enjoyed it you guys are probably wondering what the heck this book is about so this book is about this girl and she loves to read and she has this book called small spaces and they um go on this field trip and their bus like crashes and so there's this man oh man i forgot what the guy was called i think his name was like no face or like no name or something like really vague like that you know and there's like this myth of him and yeah it just follows that i don't want to give away too much because then it would start to get into like spoily territory but i really love this book so if you like middle grade and you like Coraline and you like goosebumps check out this because that's what it gave. It also reminded me of Jeepers Creepers, the second movie, where their bus like gets like broke down and like they're stuck and like Jeepers Creepers like after them. Except they like leave the bus. And um it just reminded me of that too, by the way. But um it was really good, especially for a middle grade book. Like this book really had me shook. And once you like read the book and you actually take a look at the cover, it, first of all the cover is beautiful but once you actually like read the book and take a look at the cover like everything makes sense and i don't know i really love this book like, this book was so good for a middle grade 
So if I liked it and I typically don't even reach for middle grades and you like middle grade, you will literally love this book. <laughs> yeah. I was a